Working at the engine cover, Red Arrow, pull off the two front side air duct hoses, indicated by the green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off of the engine cover, air filter housing, then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. The cover is held on by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts, with the front two shown red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. Remove the mass airflow sensor. Please see the link at the end of this video for directions on how to perform that task. Working at the rear of the intake manifold, pull the breather hose, red arrow, straight off of the duct to remove it. Working at the right side valve cover, pull the breather hose straight off of the breather cover to remove it. Working at the rear of the intake manifold, pull the breather hose junction out of the intake manifold. Pull it straight up to remove it. Once up, pull the hard line, red arrow, out of the breather hose and lay it aside. Unclip the retaining duct tab, green arrow, then pull the duct off the throttle housing in the direction of the red arrow and remove it from the engine. Working below the throttle housing, detach the wiring harness from the clip at the bottom of the throttle housing. Then disconnect the electrical connector by squeezing the release tabs, as indicated by the green arrow, and pulling the connector straight off. Working at the right side valve cover, disconnect the ignition coil electrical connectors by pressing the release tab and pulling them straight out, as indicated by the red arrows. Then cut the zip ties, green arrow, securing the wiring harness to the coil. Working at the right side valve cover, disconnect the fuel injector electrical connectors by squeezing the release tabs and pulling them straight off, red arrows. Then disconnect the electrical connector at the EGR system, green arrow. Once all the connectors have been disconnected, press the plastic tab, yellow arrow, towards the right side of the fender and lift the wiring harness up off the fuel rail. Back at the right side of the engine, remove the fuel pressure test port cap, red arrow. Then cover the port with a rag and press the Schrader valve down to relieve the fuel pressure. Reinstall the cap once the pressure has been relieved. Working at the left side of the engine, use a 17 mm line wrench and remove the fuel line at the fuel rail. Once removed, cover the line and fitting on the fuel rail with a rag to collect any excess fuel. Working at the rear of the intake manifold, remove the EGR tube, green arrow. Here's the tricky part. The nut for the tube is usually stuck. If it's not, loosen the 24 mm nut on the pipe at the EGR side. Once that's loose, the intake will come off. If it's stuck, you are better off removing the fuel injectors first to allow better access to the fitting on the EGR manifold. Start by removing the fuel injectors, and please see the link at the end of this video for instructions on those procedures. Then remove the two E10 inverted torque fasteners as indicated by the red arrows. Removing these allows the tube to rotate slightly, preventing distorting the pipe. Then counterhold the 22 mm fitting red arrow while loosening the 24 mm tube nut, green arrow. Once loose, remove the tube from the engine. Next, remove the vacuum hose right below the tube. The tube is left in place to help locate the vacuum hose on the intake manifold. Working at the front of the intake manifold, remove the secondary air pipe by pulling it off the valves and the pump, red arrow. Next, remove the vacuum hoses at the left side secondary air valve and the solenoid, red arrows. 
Move to the center of the intake manifold and remove the two vacuum hoses as indicated by the red arrows. Now remove the vacuum hose from the right side secondary air valve as indicated by the green arrow. Working at the left rear of the intake manifold, remove the vacuum hose, red arrow. Remove the eight E12 inverted torque intake manifold fasteners, red arrow one shown. The right side shows this with the fuel injectors removed. The left side is similar. With help from a friend, lift the intake manifold up to remove it, untangling wires and hoses as you lift. You will need to rotate it to the right and then feed the secondary air valve out from under the harness housing at the front. Once removed, plug the intake ports to prevent debris from falling in. Vacuum out any debris surrounding the area and clean the gasket sealing surfaces. With the intake manifold removed, you can now replace the intake manifold gasket. Be sure to clean the sealing surfaces before installing new ones. If you had a hard time with the EGR tube, be sure the fitting, green arrow, is tight before trying to reinstall the tube. Once you make repairs and install the new gasket, tighten the intake manifold fasteners to 20 newton meters. Reassemble the intake components in the reverse order of removal. Be sure all hoses and electrical connectors are routed as they were when removed. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.